Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is considering a withdrawal of the Israeli military from the West Bank. The Israeli newspaper Haaretz reports the military pullout and other measures are being considered in an effort to stave off potential diplomatic backlash following the possible recognition of a Palestinian state at the United Nations General Assembly in September. Netanyahu is said to believe there's little chance for further negotiations with Palestine and is seeking ways to rally the United States, the European Union and other Western nations against a unilateral move in the U.N. by Palestine and other countries. The Palestinian authorities claiming momentum towards its effort to declaring an independent Palestinian state following a number of international endorsements. In recent reports, the United Nations and International Monetary Fund say the PA is ready to run an independent state. The U.N. report concludes the main obstacle, however, remains, quote, the persistence of the Israeli occupation and the conflict's unresolved issues. At an international meeting in Brussels, Palestinian Prime Minister Salam Fayyad said Palestinian statehood has been given a birth certificate. What I myself call at the meeting a birth, what, what amounts to effectively a birth certificate for the reality of Palestinian statehood. We feel it's very important for the political process to take advantage of what today's meeting has concluded. The fact that we Palestinians have crossed the threshold of readiness for statehood. A group of prominent Israelis met Thursday in Tel Aviv to announce their support for the formation of an independent Palestinian state. Forty-seven leading Israeli cultural figures and academics signed a declaration of independence from the occupation. Yaron Izrahi is a professor of political science at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. The subjugation of the Palestinian people by Israel is not only the elimination of Palestinian freedom, it also corrupts our freedom in the state of Israel. A group of Israeli protesters tried to disrupt the event. They heckled the gathering and called the participants traitors.